Hey YouTube, it's Tim from Snap Attack with yet another threat snapshot. Today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite privilege escalations on Windows. Uh, this is bypassing UAC with Thought Helper. And again, there's two examples here in the Atomic Red community, which we featured in our MITRE Attack Con talk earlier this week. And what I really love about uh, this attack in particular and, and the Atomic Test is that, again, they've got robustness here. They've got two different ways that they're going to be using Thought Helper. One of them is uh, using reg.exe. The other is going to be bypassing it with uh, PowerShell. So Thought Helper, a little bit of history. Um, this is kind of like the Energizer Bunny of privilege escalations. It just keeps going and going. Uh, it's been around since 2017. It's almost five years old now. Um, it's been used by numerous threat actors. Um, TrickBot was using it in 2020. Um, it's still growing strong, which is why I wanted to definitely include that here today. Um, so what this is doing is Thought Helper is a built-in Windows utility um, and it auto elevates. Um, it's, there's other binaries that work like this, but what this is doing is, so this is actually the features on demand helper. So when you're trying to install additional Windows features, um, again, additional programs, language packs, things like that, um, this process will launch and certain things require that in an elevated context. So under a default Windows configuration, this will um, auto elevate and run whatever um, that open command is as uh, administrator. So this is really a good privilege escalation uh, here we can take a look at this in Snap Attack and see what we've got. So we're launching this with Atomic Red Team. This first one here is via reg.exe, and you can see that that pops up with that System32 shell, showing that we've had a command line running as administrator. And here again is the second one. This is going to be via PowerShell.exe, and we see another System32 shell pop up. So what do we have here in terms of analytics and detections? Um, quite a few that we can work through. Um, I actually like to take a look at this from the graph view because I think this works out very well. So we've got our cmd.exe and you can see that's gonna run those reg commands, uh, pop those off. Um, we can see those other processes spawn, eventually leading to FOD helper. And I just do wanna point out here that that cmd.exe is running under that medium integrity context and FOD helper gets launched as high, showing that auto elevate and our CMD is also launched as high. So we've got that as one, and then we've got that PowerShell with those other additional commands to create the registry, which also does spawn FOD helper and that CMD as a high uh, integrity process. So again, questions here is gonna be, how do I actually go and how do I hunt for this? A um, Couple of different ways. And again, we like that detection in depth strategy. So best opportunity is if you've got registry events and logs that you can look through, um, looking for that target object being set here. Um, this will hit that um, and detect it very well with the highest confidence. Um, that said, I know registry logs are not always collected because they are very, very loud, very noisy, takes up a lot of volume. So there's definitely other opportunities here. Again, looking at the graph, you could be looking for process creates with you know these sort of commands in here or even the PowerShell versions. Um, in Sigma, we've got actually this um, analytic looking at this parent-child process relationship where um, this community analytic is looking for the parent image of thoughthelper.exe and looking for any children that spawn. Um, so that would be another way that you could detect this. Um, all these, again, available in Snap Attack. So check it out. Um, we're going to be doing these threat snapshots weekly. So if you like the video, uh, definitely like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.